And as I said, Starbucks temporarily shut 8,000 stores this week to conduct uh, four hours of racial bias training for its employees, and new policies will allow guests to use the facilities, the heads, without making a purchase. And how might this change businesses like Starbucks? The founder of the Stock Swoosh, Melissa Armo, joins us. Melissa, I love it when you are in the studio. I love it when we're together. Uh, thank you so much. We love you all the time. Thanks. We love you for taking. Uh, I love love the Big Apple. Uh, uh, we will hope that we don't hear the sirens as we're talking. You never know in this city. So there are lots of Starbucks right around us now, and they've got a new policy that allows patrons uh, or non-patrons to use the restrooms. Uh, they can go in there without making a purchase, and uh, that's going to not just change business for Starbucks, but I imagine others in this space are also going to be looking at, at what's going on with Starbucks. What do you think? It's very interesting because uh, did they do this just because of that incident? Because people used to go into Starbucks all the time. We were talking about this, use their Wi-Fi and not necessarily buy anything. Was it just because of that incident that they decided to implement now this new policy and will other people do it too? I don't know. As far as the stock goes overall, though, with all this negative press, they really haven't had that much of a negative reaction in the stock. The stock's still holding in a pretty good uptrend. So Starbucks looks good. It's a strong, strong stock. It's a buy. But for other companies, are they going to change their policies? I think it will affect sales because then somebody could go in. They could sit there for four hours, six hours, take up a seat that somebody else wants to sit that wants to buy lunch or coffee or a dessert or whatever. Like any restaurant, McDonald's, any of these places, someone could do that. And what if you have a paying customer and they want to come in and they want to sit down in a table and then you have a non-paying customer. So it's kind of not fair. It, it's, uh, it's interesting because Starbucks was the first, or at least one of the first major uh, chains to offer free Wi-Fi. So mm -hmm. people went and took their, uh, you know, their, their MacBooks or whatever and uh, hung out and uh, bought uh, uh, coffee or something and, and hung out for hours. Uh, and so they're sort of on the, the vanguard of these changes now where uh, they're going to allow people to use the restrooms, et cetera. Uh, but I imagine the pressure on the others uh, because you know what happens if, for example, you know some uh, the, the homeless people. I mean, uh, God love them, but come into the establishment. Uh, it maybe doesn't uh, smell like fresh coffee anymore, mm -hmm. and the patrons stop going to these places. Uh, it really could impact businesses' bottom lines. As Starbucks, is, of course, wants to be a socially responsible uh, company, and, and good for them. Uh, lots of companies would like that moniker. But they really care about their bottom lines, and so do they the still shareholders. They have to make money. Yeah, they still have to make money. So if you have homeless people coming in and, and using the facilities or just kind of camping out there, and you have customers coming in, it may not make as nice of an environment for custo customers to come in. You may not want to go in there. So that's a problem. Now, has that happened yet? Probably not. Or maybe in some places we haven't really heard about it. It hasn't been on the news because they just implemented this new policy. But I think that's the danger. That's the danger of any other place doing it, any other restaurant doing it. And when we were talking about even higher end ones, like a cheese cake factory which is not like a, a fast food like the mcdonald's and you you would eat and you sit down for a longer meal than at a starbucks people could go in and use their restrooms i mean who's to say or sit at the bar and just drink a water and not buy anything the, these stores are there these restaurants are there these companies are there they have to make money they're trying to please everybody that's the situation right now in the world that we live in with social media one thing happens and it blows up to a time ticking bomb and then they have to change all their policy just like they shut all the stores down when they did that sensitivity training just a yep. couple of days ago that cost them money look at think of the money that they lost just from doing that on that one Eight day thousand stores four hours closing exactly. uh, a lot of lattes being sold exactly. uh, would have you know i uh in new york here uh i happened to take a couple of long walks yesterday and i would stop uh for convenience uh, along the way mm -hmm. and uh i don't want to mention the name but there was a, a chain not starbucks that i stopped in and you know they've got a code and uh, so i would you know buy a, a bottle of water or something mm -hmm. to be able to use a facility Facilities. And I just thought, this I think might be about to change. If you were a member of a board of a Dunkin' Donuts or something, mm -hmm. Melissa, is this something that you would demand be r r raised? This is what I'm saying. If you're on the board, if you're a shareholder, if you're concerned about the stock, it's, it, you want to make money, but also it's the perception. This is the interesting thing about where we live right now today. Times are changing. It's the bottom, the, the perception is affecting the bottom line because people may say, well, I don't want to go to this store anymore because I don't like their belief systems. Remember when we were talking about back in during football season about the Papa John's pizza and then the pizza with the NFL? 
and now the NFL just came out, now they changed their policy anyways. So there again, it has to do with how are people reacting on social media, and then of course you have to have the company thinking about their bottom line. It's a touchy situation. You gotta have really good people in charge, PR people, people in the background, and ultimately it's about the employees. You know, it's really unfortunate what happened with Starbucks. That guy, I guess, was just waiting for his friend. I don't really know exactly why that incident happened. It's a shame. Uh, companies should uh, look you up and try to get you on their board. That would be a good move. <laughs> Melissa Armo, the thank Stock you. Swoosh founder, thank you so much. Thanks. Appreciate good seeing you here.